Okay, so to understand a bit more about the SFT operation, uh, I'll show an example using uh, Python. So here, all I have done is this, I just have this time axis that goes from minus two pi to plus two pi. And there are one, zero, two, four points in this entire time axis. I'm calculating the sign of the sign of that entire time axis here. And then I'm just plotting that against the time axis and just labeling that as one, zero, two, four sign. The reason why this is important is because you can do four year transforms for various sizes. You can do four year transforms for, um, you can do from 4, 16, 32, 64, and so on. So in this case, we are choosing a Fourier transform 1024. And if you notice here, the Fourier transform could only be done in like two to the power of X, where X is the size of the Fourier transform. So, and then in another case, I'm just actually calculating the Fourier transform here. So this is the actual uh, function that we used to calculate Fourier transform. And we set the actual size of Fourier transform here to be 1024 because that's the length that we have. And then I'm just plotting that same thing. Now I'm just doing sine Fourier transform, I'm just plotting that. And then here I have another sinusoidal wave. But instead of it being for 1024 inside, it's only for 16, uh, 16 words. So we have from minus five to minus two pi to plus two pi, and only 16 uh, such uh, points are in this time axis. Similarly, calculating the uh, sign of that, plotting that for a representation, and then we're just similarly plotting the Fourier transform of that. So again, FFT is equal to FFT dot FFT. And then in this case, since we have a 16, uh, vector, 16 length vector, we just do 16 here, and we're just plotting that. And I can show you how the actual plot would look like to get a better understanding of this. So if we start here, this is what normal sinusoid looks like. Everyone is familiar with this. And this is what its Fourier transform looks like. So at the edges here, we can see that it actually peaks up to about uh, a bit more than three. And then similarly for the other sinusoid. So here, if you have a sign of only 16 points, you have to physically map out 16 points here. So that's why the sign looks more discrete in this case. And then similarly, its Fourier transform also looks uh, as expected. So because we only have 16 points to map onto a wave, so we have a Fourier transform that looks like this. We will be trying to implement this 16-point uh, Fourier transform in this week's lab. 